Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a clear vase with uh, water in it. And uh, we're going to put a, a rose in the vase. And um, it's all going to be uh, a 3D illustration in uh, Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is open up a new document. It doesn't matter the size. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and open up our rulers. So what we'll do is we'll press uh, Command R on our keyboard. And that will uh, uh, put our rulers up on the screen. And the reason we need that is so that we can drag guide. And we'll just go over to the left side here and click on the ruler and drag a guide out anywhere into the screen. And we need this guide for our uh, our 3D effects. Um, we're going to first start with making our base. And what we'll do is uh, we'll make sure that our colors are set to black and white, black being the stroke. That's just for now. We will be changing that here in a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to make the perimeter of half of a vase. So uh, this is just how this tool works. The 3D Revolve tool is what we'll be using. This is just how it works. So what we'll do is we'll start from the top of a vase looking thing and work our way to the bottom. So we're just going to make a shape that looks like a vase pretty much. And you can do any sort of shape that you want. Kind of just going to do something something kind of like that maybe and the reason that we have this line is because we want our bottom point to be up on that line so that we know where our middle point is going to be uh, I'm going to go ahead and manipulate these points a little bit because I did a pretty bad job drawing it actually uh, something like that's probably going to look a little bit better I might even drag this point in a little bit Thing, kind of like that might look okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and try something like that, I believe. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll select this shape that we've drawn out, and if you just kind of make a, a shape that kind of mirrors this, or uh, you can certainly try different shapes, but I'm going to go ahead and select it, and uh, go up to Effect at the top, down to 3D, and Revolve. I'll just press OK for now. We don't need to change any of those settings. Okay, and that's kind of what it makes. Um, we want our fill color to be nothing. We want it to go ahead and click on this red bar to make it nothing. And now is a good time to select a, a, a color um, to look like glass. And so I'm just going to select this blue color, one of these blue colors, to make this face look like glass. And I'm going to go ahead and I want to, uh, you can still manipulate the uh, the points here if you don't like the way that your vase looks. And I want to take the bottom in a little bit so that it looks kind of like that. Maybe a little more even. Yeah, maybe I'll just drag this anchor up a little bit. Okay, I'll go ahead and stick with that for now. Um, the next thing that I want to do is... Um, make this look a little bit more like glass. We're just going to take the opacity down. I went to my transparency over on the side here. You can find that under window up at the top and down at transparency. And we're going to take our opacity down to 75%. Press OK. We'll then uh, select our line there and copy and paste it. So we'll press Control C and Control V. We're now going to give it an effect, uh, make it look like it's uh, full of water. So what we'll do is decide a point on a, the vase that we want our water line, and we're going to use our scissors tool from our tool palette and just cut where we want our water line, pretty much on this line. Uh, the scissors tool can be found if, uh, if the eraser tool is up. You can just click on the eraser and hold down, and the scissors tool should be there. Or you can press C on the keyboard. And I think I want my water level to be somewhere right in here. So I'll just click on the line with my scissors tool, and it should cut that line out. And what we'll do is we'll just select that top shape and delete it. We want this to be set at probably 100%. And uh, actually, I take that back. We'll set that at 75% as well. But we're going to choose a darker blue in color. And we're going to just drag that right over the top of our other base. And it should look something... Of 
about like that right now. And you can uh, align it with your align tools. Well, I accidentally aligned it all the way down. I accidentally uh, selected this guide and aligned it with the, the guide that's vertical so it would have gone infinitely downwards. Okay. Anyway, uh, this looks pretty good for now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create our rows. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is create a brush. And uh, I'll open up my brushes palette first. So you go up to Window, down to Brushes, and click on Brushes. Then we'll select our pen tool in our pen tool or in our uh, tools palette, and we're going to make a shape that's a small triangle. Oops. Let's go ahead and make our colors black and white again. Actually, let's get rid of that white fill as well. So now we just have a black. Stroke. This is just for drawing purposes. It makes it a little easier. I'm going to hold that, make a point, hold that shift, and then I'm going to make a little triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect or completely symmetrical. Uh, once we make our triangle, let's go ahead and reverse the stroke and the fill so that it's a, the, the triangle is just filled with black and has no stroke. It's a small triangle, and we're going to just drag it right into the, uh, the brushes palette. A uh, new brush box will pop up, and we want to select Art Brush. Click OK. And then we don't need to change anything there. You can rename it if you would like and uh, then press OK. And we can get rid of this. OK. Now what we'll do is we'll take our pen tool and we're going to draw a little uh, stem shape. So we'll make a couple points. Do something kind of like that. And we want it to be stroked. And what we'll do is we'll then uh, take that line that we just made and we'll click on the brush that we just made. And it will... Uh, have it, give it a little tapered effect, like that. And uh, we'll go ahead and make our rows now. And uh, it'll be a similar shape as the base, actually. So what we'll do is, uh, if we want, actually, we could just take the base, and we'll just uh, copy and paste it. And we can change the stroke color to red. And we'll go up to Effect. Um, 3D rev uh, Revolve. Apply new effect. Um, okay. What we'll do uh, is we're going to actually, we'll just trace this edge of it so that we can have a similar shape. Um, you could use this same shape, uh, but uh, we don't really want probably this strong of a highlight on our road. We're going to go ahead and just kind of draw the same shape, and I'm just going to, for ease of use, um, just mimic this shape that I already have. And it, it can just be kind of close as well, so no big deal. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and delete this. So now we have this shape, and you can kind of copy that off of mine if you'd like. And we'll go up to Effects, 3D, and revolve. And we're going to uh, click on more options at the right, and we're going to take our, um, our, uh, our highlighted area and the light intensity, we're going to take down to about 25 or, or 50. You can mess around with it. I'm going to take it down to 25 because I don't want much of a highlight. And I'll press OK. OK, that looks pretty good. I'm going to then uh, like I did before, just uh, drag some of these points to where I want them to make it look more like a, a rose or something. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Uh, and uh, what I'll do is I'll go to Object up at the top and do Expand Appearance. And that'll just uh, make it easy, more easy to uh, kind of manipulate. I'll uh, hold Shift and drag down on one of the corners to shrink it down. And I'll hover over one of the corners and kind of drag it uh, over like that. And so now we have this basic rose shape. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look like it's in the in the water. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guide. Uh, it doesn't look like it's in the vase properly. It looks like it's in front of the vase. And uh, what we'll do is we will copy this stem, Control-C, Control-V on the keyboard. 
And what we'll do is we'll send this stem to the back. Control, Shift. Uh, actually, what I'll just show you up here. We'll go to Object, Transform, um, and, oh, excuse me, Object, Arrange, and Send to Back. So now it looks like that. Now it looks like it's behind the base. And that's why we made the copy of this. We'll go up to Object, Expand Appearance, and we'll just drag this right over the top of our other stem so that they're exactly on top of one, one another. We can then zoom in. And the only area that we want um, to cut off is the area that a after it would be going into the uh, base. And uh, we can just use our scissors tool again. If you miss the path, it will tell you. So I'm going to make a cut right there and right there. And that's pretty good. Now I'll select the bottom. And if you need to ungroup it, you can press Control shift g on your keyboard. And that'll ungroup it, and you can delete the bottom half. And then when I zoom out, you have your vase with your rose in it. Uh, just a few final uh, finishing touches that I'll do. We'll make sure that our rose is on the top. So we'll go up to Object, Transform, excuse me, Object, Arrange, bring the front. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just do a few finishing touches, like I was saying, and we'll just draw a line kind of straight out from there. And we'll use this to make a little, um, a little thorn. We'll draw a line straight out from there and use our brush again to make another little thorn. And then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll just draw a leaf real quick. We'll take a take our pen tool and we'll just kind of make a a leaf shape. And you can make whatever kind of shape you want, whatever sort of leaf shape you think looks good. Um, something like that's fine. Um, I just did that really quick. I, you know, you might want to take a little bit more time with yours. And uh, I'll just shrink it down a little bit. Something kind of like that. Be fine. Make a copy. Control C, Control V. Make this one a little smaller. Hold down Shift and drag one of the corners in. And I'll make this one a little darker in gr the green color. And what I'll do is I'll just put those right up on the on the rows. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this one. I'll go up to Object. Transform, um, reflect, and uh, do a horizontal reflect and press OK. Then I'll uh, hover over one of the corners and drag it around. And I'll just do it just like that. I'm going to go ahead and shrink it a little bit so it's not overwhelming the rows. Something kind of like that looks pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's about it. Um, now we have a vase that uh, has a rose in it that looks like it's going into the vase and it looks like it has water in it. Um, if you want to, you could uh, you could repeat the uh, the copy of the stem again and uh, and cut off this piece so that it kind of transitions into the water a little bit more. I'm not going to show you that again because I already showed it to you once. But uh, all you would do is cut off an area here and an area here so it would be just a little bit darker. Uh, but less dark than this, and it would kind of transition more into the water. Anyway, um, this is pretty much it. I hope you learned something. Um, please uh, click the like button on this video. Um, subscribe to my blog. Subscribe to uh, my channel on YouTube. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, thanks for watching.